Someone from Raven, someone's hitting me up to do an interview about Raven Lounge, and I was like, yeah, you can hit that page, like, he's the new, mm-hmm. he's still trying to get me to do it. I'm like, what the fuck am I going to say at this point? Just pretend like you still work there. I guess. An interview for where? <laughs> Something, like, I think Temple. He's trying to write an article for, like, journalism. Oh, that's a bullshit. It's bullshit. I don't yeah, even want to do it. Yeah, it was yeah, for the like, Enquirer or something. Even then, that's a bullshit thing. Nobody reading news. He keeps papers. texting me about, like, are you ever going to call him? I'm like, yeah, I'm going to do this. Just don't want to. Yeah, fuck that. Sounds not fun. I did an interview for about Raven Lounge. Nice. Yeah. For um, Philly Mag. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Also did one for the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> for real? Yeah. It was during the... Um, I made up a... I, told, I said a joke and the guy wrote it down like it was serious. What was it? So when they was rioting and shit... I told him that we was walking past Raven Lounge and I was like, yeah, we do comedy here. And I was like, and they were trying to, I was like, they, I was like, and they were trying to break in there and steal all the fucking jokes. I said, so I stood up front like, y'all can't have the fucking jokes. Y'all can't fucking, and then he wrote that shit down. <laughs> he put that shit in a fucking article and they said like, joke theft is on the rise. Yeah, right. He said like, he said like he stood in front of an establishment where him and other local comics do comedy and made sure they didn't ransack the place and steal all the belongings. And like, I didn't do that at all, bro. I was making a joke. Yeah. We didn't, we, we literally just walked past Ravenlands because nobody was trying to break into Ravenlands. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Like we just walked past. Like, they don't nothing. even say knock, knock anymore. They break the fuck in, take all your punchlines. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro. And then this is how dumb people are John's such an idiot when we was at, I was at Raven one night and John had read the article I guess somebody told him that like Raven Lounge was in the Wall Street Journal and he came he was like nah, I just want to say thank you I'm like for what he was like you stood out front and protected this place I'm like yo who's the idiot like which one of y'all is dumber you or the mother- the author of this fucking article I'm like John that was a joke nobody was trying to break it here and steal it that doesn't make any sense yeah. <laughs> like what <laughs> Does it make you feel bad when your jokes are taken seriously? Yes, it makes me feel so bad because I say ridiculous things. It's like, yo, I say this. This is not even a concrete thing, bro. God damn it! <laughs> Can y'all catch a fucking joke? God, man. Yeah, that does that does make you get insecure about your sense of humor. It does. Like, damn, maybe I'm that much off base where people think this is just a factual statement. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is, man. People yeah, want you to I do sarcasm know. in like a Chandler voice or whatever. Yeah, that's true. That's they, like all they want. Yeah. Or else they're not going to detect jokes are happening. Yep. Or you got to do Seinfeld voice. Yeah. And then they just think that you're retarded because you're saying retarded shit. <laughs> right. Just making dumb ass <laughs> observations. Yeah. yeah. It's fun to make dumb observations with old people. Old people eat that shit up. Yeah. Hell yeah, bro. You ever just been walking around with your mom just pointing shit out? <laughs> like what? Just obvious shit. Like, mom, you ever wonder... Why they call it a fucking living room? You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like just stupid shit like that. Yeah, mom, moms eat that type of shit up, like just dumb logical shit. Yeah, you ever notice that ships carry cargo, but cars carry shipments? You see what I'm saying? They'll go crazy. Yeah, mom would be like, what? <laughs> oh, you're so bright. That's what she goes like, you're so. I'm such a smart boy. You're such a smart yeah. boy. You know what I do with my mom? It's like the, it's, it tickles her more than anything. Huh. Um, we would uh, like I try to do like a mom date. I wish I was about to lie and say like four times a year. No, I don't. It ends up being like once a year I do a mom date. And I'm like, yo, mom, can we go? It's usually the art museum and just dinner or some shit like that, right? Oh yeah. We go to the art museum and then we'll be looking at like the different paintings and shit. And I'll be like, mom, look at him, and I'll just tell her what everybody's expression is saying in the painting. So it was like a picture, like one of them was like a painting of Jesus getting crucified. And there's like some some guy on the ground looking all sad. I was like, wow, look at him. He's sad as fuck. Like, oh no. But he also like, ew, this is disgusting. Why they stab him in the side like that? I was like, then look at this girl holding Jesus' feet, kissing his feet. She's like, oh no. Me and him just was fucking yesterday. And now they killing him. Why they do this to him? I'm just going around the whole painting just fucking. And my mom gets so tickled by that shit. Like, really? <laughs> he probably was thinking that. <laughs> she loved that shit. Huh. I'm like, hell yeah, mom. Yeah, she's your biggest fan. Moms like silly things. They like when you do childish things sometimes. You ever tell your mom she's the smartest mom in the world? Hell yeah. What? <laughs> That's what you got to do. You got to gotta hype them up. Got to put her shit on the fridge. Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. You got to be like, actually, I think I have an indigo mother. <laughs> <laughs> I have an indigo mother. <laughs> I think you're more in tune with the spiritual world. Than That's mother, crazy. Though. Yeah, you got to do that, yo. And you got to do opposite with your uncles. You got to bring your uncles down, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, you be like, oh, you ain't shit. Yeah, you have terrible uncles. <laughs> I've never heard a positive uncle story from you. I got great uh, I have t- two great uncles. I had three, but one died. Two of them, great. Who was the uncle that at Raven Lodge? Was that 
uncle I met? That's Pete. That's my cousin. Oh, that's cousin Pete? Yeah, that's cousin Pete. Okay. He's an uncle's age. Gotcha, gotcha. But he my cousin. He pimped out. <laughs> He's pimped out. All right, you want to start the show? Yeah, let's start the show. Because today at AO Actually, we are here to bring you groundbreaking facts, new factual ideas, bright, uplifting stories, only if they are real and true, and also some fuck the best opinions, bro. Yeah, you know I mean? I've heard lately, I've been seeing a lot of y'all comments. Y'all like, yo, this ain't a fact. This is just a wild, naive opinion. And you know what? So what? Deal with it. True. Because yeah. to my left, <laughs> I have the all knowing, the fucking illuminator himself, Ben Stop. Ah. And to my right, I have the all hating, all racist, mm. any phobic, <laughs> Naeem Ali, everybody. Boo. Ooh. Yeah, no, I gotta I gotta start doing a disclaimer that I disagree with everything you say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yo. And if we start if we started out like that every time, I could hit him with the um with the Mari Povich shit too. Fuck y'all, fuck y'all, fuck you, mom, <laughs> fuck you, bitch, fuck you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I thought I should walk in every time we start the thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We are deleting every episode of AO, actually. Yes. <laughs> It is happening soon. Yeah, we will. That, I don't know if we told you all about this. Yeah, listen. But I've had some opportunities that we have to scrub out. I have. From the yes, end. I've been hearing about some upcoming opportunities, and y'all better watch all these episodes now because <laughs> they will be scrubbed from the internet. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. It is crazy. Yeah, all right. Let's mm-hmm. start. Do it. You want to do the do first it. fact? Oh, I got a first fact. Yeah, you're first. Happy Groundhog's Day, everybody. Hey. We have, what is it, spring? Spring's coming soon this year? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hey, you actually, know that the very first Groundhog's Day in 1886, they ate the groundhog afterwards. What? <laughs> nah, yo. Yeah. They ate that yeah. motherfucker. <laughs> that's what they used to do. Groundhogs used to be delicacies. And so the Groundhog's Day was hype because that's the day you get to eat the groundhog. What? <laughs> they taste like a combination between chicken and pork. Okay. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Looking at a groundhog, I do think they taste good. Of course they do. They, yeah, yeah, I can tell. They don't do anything. They're probably like veal. Yep. Yeah. Yep. They look like they naturally taste like, you ever had like the chicken on a stick from a Chinese store? <laughs> yeah. They're it probably like, is groundhog. That probably is groundhog. <laughs> it look, they naturally taste like that. Yeah. Oh, that looks great. It does look great. Oh, I need some groundhog in my life. <laughs> yeah. Why do you think they run back in their hole? Right. <laughs> yeah, we should be eating these. Yeah. What are they for? Didn't we just have a fucking chicken shortage like two years ago? Why aren't we eating these? We act like they could predict the future. They can't, bro. They can't. <laughs> Let's just eat. That, and that, that one was like a steak. Look at that one with the carrots and shit around it. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, I need that. Look at that. <laughs> that looks so good. A uh, groundhog pot roast? Come on, man. Yeah. We supposed to eat them. They all <laughs> fat in the middle. You see, anything that's fat in the middle, that's supposed to be in your belly. You see what I'm saying? True. If it's fat in the middle, it should be in your belly. There should be an anti peta that is advocating for eating more animals. True. You know? Like, yeah, what about, like, the animals that we have too many of? Like, we should start eating some of those. Yeah. Fucking ferrets. Parrots. Fucking. Yep. I, I agree. With some carrots. Dude. With some carrots. <laughs> but did you just turn into fucking Dr. Seuss? What the fuck was that? Why'd you just do that? I don't know, man. <laughs> I'm trying to become a rapper, bro. I'm really trying to get connections with OT7 Kwani. <laughs> yo, yeah, yo, you've been on some OT7 Kwani shit recently. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I got too many ops, man. I've been listening to only rappers. <laughs> It does suck, man. I usually listen to like dumbass indie girl shit, and now when I have ops, I'm like, I gotta put on a little Dirk. Gotta, yeah, <laughs> I gotta let me listen to Kill Music. Yeah, dog, you need that sometimes. You do. You are gathering more and more ops every day. Hey, yo, actually, best I got real life beef. <laughs> nah. <laughs> yo, that's no more beef. I got groundhogs with people. Yeah, yo, you got groundhogs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, hell yeah. My ops better be hiding for six more weeks, bro. It better be, dog. <laughs> my like, ops are praying I see my shadow, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so wait, did he see his shadow today? No, he didn't see it. So that's early spring? Yeah. Oh, nice. It's going to get hot. Yeah, man. <laughs> I like that. Climate change is real, bro. They're not seeing their shadows anymore. True. Yeah. Yep. Damn, Punxsutawney Jim. What's his name? Phil. Punxsutawney Phil. Mm-hmm. 
It should be Punks at Tony Gym. <laughs> why is it? Why is it Phil? Phil Philadelphia. He is not in Philly. I don't know, man. Phil makes sense though. I guess. Yeah. All right. What's your next fact? All right. Let me do one. Oh, all right. I'm gonna do a fan fact first. <laughs> this one comes from at Z Zombie three three four four five five six. Yeah. Um, I think that we should. Scratch AO actually had used the first. No, we're not doing that. We're, I'm not saying any of that. First, that first that shit up there is not being said right now. <laughs> I think it should be. Don't worry that about that. Be the new way we start every fact. <laughs> no. <laughs> Ayo, actually, there is a province in China that has a dish called Virgin Boy Eggs, and it's worse than you think. Like, can we scroll down or something? Virgin Boy Eggs it is are, worse than I thought. Yes, our traditional dish of Dongyang, Zhejiang, China, in which eggs are boiled in the urine of young boys, preferably boys under the age of 10. Quit telling Naeem this shit. <laughs> <laughs> you can't learn anything more about them, bro. Yo, people just only send me facts that's like bad things about Chinese people, bro. That's just like the actual, that's like the algorithm working in real life. You know what I mean? Oh my, it is. Yeah. <sighs> Damn, that is the algorithm working. Yeah. Because people know what I don't like. And they're like, oh, we're going to feed him more of that. It's like Pit My Ride, but for racism. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, I noticed you hate Chinese people. <laughs> Damn, I know that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Huh. Virgin Boy. That's, I mean, I don't even know where to start with this, actually. Bro, they boiling them in, in, in little baby boy urine, dog. Yeah, about to just throw up. <laughs> that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Interesting. Wait, yeah. I don't, yeah, okay. Virgin boy eggs. Look at that. It's just normal chicken eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but just in fucking the, urine. The crystallized urine sediment is said to aid in the mitigation of inflammation and inflammatory diseases as well as fungal infections of the skin. And what? Mouth. What? <laughs> you see what I'm saying, bro? And these the motherfuckers that we let into this country. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. Come on, dog. You out here eating goddamn eggs boiled in urine? Wait, it is also claimed that the indigestion of the urine soaked eggs can treat yin deficiency. So if you have too much yang in your body. <laughs> okay, you got too much yang, here goes some yin. <laughs> yeah, you got to drink little boy piss. Yeah, we're going to put a, a, a little bit of that white dot in your How are Chinese people the best scientists? Of the, you know what? I'm racist now. <laughs> <laughs> I have a yin de a deficiency. But you see what I'm saying, bro? Like, come on, dog. What is a yin deficiency? This has to be just like yeah. What is what is yin and yang? Honestly, like what does that mean? Is that like karma? A yin deficiency constitutes the insufficient of wait. Insufficiency of constitution body fluid, which means a person may present symptoms such as thirst, constipation. Oh, so you drink and piss because you got <laughs> low body fluid? Okay. <laughs> so you boiling your eggs and piss because your body because you ain't got enough body fluid. Yeah. That makes sense on some elementary Chinese level. You see what I'm saying? Can you imagine eating virgin boy eggs and you spit out? You're like, what is he, 12? This is disgusting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Give me some fucking eight year old. Yeah, I hate this fact. <laughs> it's disgusting. I don't disgusting. want to talk about it anymore. Oh, low body fluid. I drink some piss. <laughs> no, bro. Don't drink piss. Drink water. How do you treat in deficiency? Drink the fluids. Drink thin fluids. Water, herbal tea, clear soup. <laughs> Watery fruits or piss. Six year old piss. <laughs> or piss. That's a thin fluid. Piss. I never had a thick piss in my life, bro. Never. I guess it does have, I mean, it's probably like fucking high in Sunny D and fucking bro, grape juice. This is, and, but this is what I'm trying to tell y'all. This, and this is what everybody don't understand. These motherfuckers don't know how to throw shit away. That's the problem. They turn shit into grease and then fry chicken with it, bro. They do shit like that. They That was a fact we did on here. They turn fecal matter into fucking oil to cook with. They take piss and boil shit in it, bro. Why, they don't They don't let shit go to waste. What were they doing to vapes? They were inhaling every vape or yes, something? Yes, they test them by inhaling them. So every vape y'all suck on, it was a Chinese lip on that bitch. <laughs> that ate pissy eggs and shitty chicken. <laughs> you fucking idiots <laughs> Bruh, I can't believe you, you told us the news Right before this episode And now this is how you start the episode uh, Hey, listen <laughs> That is so crazy Listen, they doing it to us I, Somebody gotta do it to them You see what I'm saying? Uh, am I fighting this war by myself? That's what it feels like Me and Donald Trump, bruh mm. Where the fuck is everybody else at? That's what I wanna know 
That's disgusting. What does the food look like, though? Yeah, can we see what these eggs... Where do they serve it? What these eggs look it like? It can't be all of China. It has to be just some weird hick backwoods. No, it's in Dongyang. Dongyang, Zhejiang. Dongyang, Zhejiang. That's where it's at. Ew. Ew, boys are eating it? Yeah, little boys are eating those boy eggs. Honestly, I thought I thought it was something worse than this. He said I wouldn't think it was that bad. Ew, look at that. Look at they pour, pouring a piss in there. How do they collect the piss? <laughs> how do they collect it? Like how how are you getting all this little boy piss? You know what I'm doing, bro? If I if I'm over there, I'm going to these restaurants. If I'm some Chinese nasty man that eats this, I'm gonna be the uh, food critic, and I'm gonna go to the restaurants and be like, "This is at least." A fucking eighteen year old's piss right here. This ain't no goddamn ten year old. I mean, it's probably just like a smart factory owner that has like a hundred ten year olds working on sewing machines, and then they just go pee in a bucket. Oh yeah, you true. Sell that bucket to damn. They probably not even getting paid for their piss either. You know, <laughs> know your worth, Chinese kids. Yeah, know your worth. They using y'all pissing y'all shit to make food. Damn, bro. <laughs> All right, let's start next one. Yeah, let's. Can, yeah, we need a, a pilot cleanser here, bro. We have to move on from that one. It's fucking dirty. What was that guy's name? Don't ever tell Naive anymore. Or that. ZZ Zombie, whatever. Um, whatever the hell. Oh, wait, I want to I want to do this one later. Scroll down. Don't look. Look away, Naive. There's I'll a picture. Away, you can look, look at away. it. Scroll, 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 scroll. I don't want to see the picture. Skip him. All right. Um. Ooh, actually. Oh, yeah. Did you know this one? Ayo, hey, actually, did you know that when you're freezing to death? Or mo- uh, Sorry. Ayo, hey, actually, did you know that most people that are found after freezing to death, have taken all their clothes off? I am aware of this. Did you know about this? Do you know why? I do know why, but let's let, let, let's hear you explain it. I feel like you don't know why. You you think I'm lying? That's what someone that doesn't know why says all the time. Yeah, I'll tell I you why. why but I'll ruin your talking. effect right now. How? It's because when they get hypothermia, they get hot first. Yeah, but why? Oh, I don't know why they do that. It's because, okay, so then your body's shutting down, so your muscles give up, mm-hmm. and then when your muscles give up, your blood vessels aren't contracted anymore they, they give up too so they expand mm-hmm. so there's nothing holding your blood back so all your blood just so rushes all your warm into blood like just, all your extremities damn. so what? then you're overheating and so then the last thing you do is like ha ah, ha ha yeah your outfit damn you know, this show is actually sad today uh, <laughs> I mean as long as people don't freeze to death then it wouldn't be sad I guess there is no takeaway from that too yeah if you're feeling hot you might as well just rip it off True. There's I mean, no you're going to die anyway. Point. Damn, that's fucked up. You know why I knew what that was, though? Because I, um, I used to be on Pinterest a lot. And really? Yep. What are you doing on Pinterest? Uh, um, What's your that? pins? What's your folders? Like disasters, <laughs> dead bodies on Mount Everest, <laughs> 9-11 jumpers, shit what? like that. Really? Yeah. And I and it was uh, it was a, a lot of dead bodies found on Everest where people was like naked because they like I was so excited to make fun of you for your Pinterest and then you somehow pull out something straight. <laughs> <laughs> what else is it there to look at though? My shit's like bug art and collages. <laughs> <laughs> no, if I show you my shit now, it's all disasters and like pictures of like lions eating gazelles and shit like that. <laughs> really? Mm-hmm. Do you? That's insane. I didn't even know you could do shit like that on Pinterest. Pinterest, bro, there's no way you find... You actually have fun on Pinterest. That's crazy. Yeah, I used to use those pictures for my um, on, for my phone. For my... Um, with, like the background for my phone. Who even got you on Pinterest? Wait, what? Like, who convinced you to use it? Oh, my ex-wife. Yeah? Because she was like... Because one day I asked her... I was putting on some... I, was put, I had some some burgundy pants. I said, damn, what type of shirt should I wear with these burgundy pants? She was like... Oh, she was like, just type it in on Pinterest. She was like, type in burgundy pants outfit. And I was like, what? I like you just type in anything to bring up a picture of it for you? And she was like, yeah. Hmm. And then that's when I got caught. And you know me, bro. I went straight to fucking 12-year-old Naeem. I was like, 9-11 jumpers. <laughs> 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 Gotta see who the, the, the still photos of this, bro. Yeah? Yeah. You just have a photo of the people falling, holding hands and shit? Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, Pinterest is one of the most fun apps, honestly. It is fun. Yeah. You can find a lot of things. And if you don't know what to wear, ask Pinterest. Pinterest will tell you what to wear. I use it for that, too. I'm a bad influence on you. 
This is this is the this is the gayest of ever you. <laughs> you have Look your at legs me right crossed, now. Legs like, crossed. Yep. Talk about pictures. <laughs> this is crazy. Yep. And I, I gotta cut myself out of your you life. Are bro. This is bad for you are bad Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gonna turn me gay, bro? <laughs> yeah, it's not good. Come on, dog. I can't be on Pinterest. All right, but go out. You said you're on Pinterest for what? Or for you found the. Uh, what the hell did we even talk? How did that even start? Hypothermia. Oh yeah, Mount Everest. I saw the the dead body. You know, if you go to like Mount Everest now, it's still a bunch of dead bodies up there because they don't move them. Yeah. They don't. They just leave them up there, and a lot of them are naked, even though it's cold as fuck. True. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I've seen mm -hmm. that. I have a Mount Everest fact actually. Really? You want to like, do it now? Or? It's just a video because I thought it was crazy. Yeah, I could do it. Scroll down. It's like a it's a link <laughs> to like a video. It's like kind of at the bottom, honestly. But um, because now, yeah, that's like a grim. Now, uh, Mount Everest. Oh, that's the link. Or no? Fuck. No. Mm. You'll see. You'll, you'll you'll figure it out. My shit is very disorganized. It's like a link to like Reddit. It's like a video from Reddit. But um, now Mount Everest is like such a tourist attraction that it's mm -hmm. like genuinely a whole line of people. Oh, like, from what? the bottom to the top. Damn. Like you have to just like wait for the So you wait in lines like you walking up steps? Yeah, like some fat businessman that wants to do it. Oh, that sucks. He's just like slowly climbing up. Damn. But yeah, I, I want to show you it. So it, I wonder if people are still dying up there then. Yeah, people are dying. You have to be dying. You have to be dying. Yeah, Why I'm you not say Everest, that? Bro, there's <laughs> people are not dying out there. <laughs> you can't even breathe. Yeah, people are dying. You have to it's be like dying. Negative forty. Dude. That's what. The, that's the only thing there is to do about Everest. The true is die. Oh, that's the line of people. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, it's that's not, uh, horrible. It's like the most not fun thing in the entire world. And my dumb ass would be the person to walk outside of that line. Like you know what, man? Fuck all this. <laughs> yeah. Not waiting behind y'all. No, I would do that too. Then you just die two feet up. <laughs> Video's not playing. I swear to God, it's from like the top of the mountain to the bottom of the mountain. That sucks. It's like ridiculous because everybody wants to do it. Just so and they're paying pay. so much money to do that. Yeah, it's really stupid. It, you would be the most annoying person if you climbed Mount Everest. Yes, I would I cut would. all those people out of my life. Yes, that if you because you know if you climb Mount Everest, that's all you telling everybody. Yeah, like yes, yeah, so when I was at when I was at uh, the peak of Everest two years ago. <laughs> Yeah. I'm like what? I didn't want to do my laundry today, but then I had to remind myself I climbed Mount Everest. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Uh, ew. Sucks. You start making motivational videos on TikTok. Yeah. And it's also that's a hack <laughs> adventure to go on. That is a hack adventure. Do something new. Yeah, go trailblaze. Damn, what's a new adventure? Mm -hmm. I want you somebody go inside a volcano and yeah, come back about, out. Yeah, think about going to the volcano. Yeah. Go inside it. a volcano and then come back out that bitch. Then you did something. Yeah. Fucking. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a good idea. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, well, let me do one. Let me get, let me get a fact. Um, all right, wait, I'm gonna do another fan one real quick. Go up, go down. Wait, right, 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 go, 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 right, right there. This one is from at this is rabble. Hey, yo, actually, did you know the province of Alberta, Canada, is 100 percent rat free? You will not see a fucking rat anywhere in Calgary. Why? They did like a like a countrywide or statewide um, extermination. Yeah, yeah, bro. I, I don't would, know what year that was though. Can we can we figure out what year this is? I would be so good at that. Hell yeah! Going, you are right. It does get out of hand killing rats. Mm hmm. It does, see, look, you see this? <laughs> it really gets out of hand. Yep. If you've eliminated every, can you can you die happy after you've killed every rat in a, in a province? You have to be, bro. Cause you gotta think, think about it like this, dog. Anytime you see a rat, it's not a pleasant time. Mm. There's not one time you see a rat where you like, oh, I'm happy that this little fucking bitch ran across here. You see what I'm saying? So imagine you're the person responsible for killing all the rats. Yeah. Like you made. It might not seem like a lot, but you made the quality of living of everybody in this country go up by like one percent, bro. Nobody even thanks you. That's the thing. They don't think they don't. Yeah, they don't. Think no you one's for that. grateful when they don't have rats. They're just upset when they do have rats. If you don't see a rat, you forget that rats even exist. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, no one in Canada even knows about that. Well, so what the smart thing for him to do would be to release one rat every year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, just let one rat out. Be like, y'all fucking remember me? Yeah, just to remind people. Remember like, what oh, I did? Shit. You know what I could do? Mm -hmm. I didn't kill them. I have them all in my fucking chest. <laughs> I got all of them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let them out if you guys start acting. Hell right? yeah. That's fucking crazy. But oh. yeah, they were going, they were scared they were going to spread the plague. In 1950? 
Yeah, why were they still worried about the plague in 1950 in, Can- in, uh, in Alberta and uh, Canada? No, nah, that is really just someone that got hell bent on killing. Yeah, he had one in his house and he just took it to the streets. He was like, I got to kill all of them. I guess, um, I guess there are some people with like serial killer tendencies that found a purpose in life. Yeah, and you gotta think if it's if it's killing rats, that's just fun. Yeah. After a while, you just having fun with that. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna figure out all new ways. That's why I told you you was on your little hunt, bro. You gotta watch out. You start killing small rodents. I don't see how they could come back. Is it like it's just a frozen area of Canada? I mean, I would think they should be able to come back. Pest control. Oh, it used to be one of the rat the rattiest cities in the world. That's Toronto. Oh. Not Alberta. I Toronto looks like it's got you ever been to Toronto? Mm-hmm. It looked like it's a lot of rats there. True. Yeah, Toronto just seems like New York made by aliens. Yeah, there's a lot of slanty buildings and weird shits and yeah, shit like it's that. Uncomfortable. Yeah. I hate I hate Toronto. Same. I'm not a fan. But if you're from Toronto, we love you, bruh. You know what I'm saying? No. Badman Ting, whatever y'all call each other. What they call each other up there? Did I ever tell you about why I went to Toronto? No, why were you there? It was the most betrayed I've ever been in my life because it was a uh, accident. Like we, I just graduated high school, and then me and my mm-hmm. friends were all planning a senior trip to Canada because mm-hmm. we were nineteen and you could drink and gamble and do like, oh, nice. everything cool in Canada. So I booked a hotel in like just north of Toronto, and then like it, it was like a week or something before we were supposed to go and then like all my friends canceled on me what <laughs> but i was like i have a fucking hotel over there bro like we got to do the trip you know what i mean so you went by yourself yeah i went by myself to canada <laughs> yeah what the fuck is your problem because <laughs> i had the hotel no <laughs> just cancel it was so painstakingly depressing because <laughs> also you just like, walked around by yourself in canada bro and also it was the first time i ever drank like I went, I drank. You were drinking by yourself in Canada. <laughs> yeah, because I could do it. Legally. <laughs> <laughs> so I was just getting like Labatt's blues and like crying and fucking drinking what? off in the bathtub, bro. It was like sad. You had no girl you could take with you? Not to fucking Canada. No. Also, no. I was nineteen, bro. Yeah. I was so pussy this my whole life. Damn. But I uh, that was the first strip club I went to. It was in Canada. Mm-hmm. Was by myself at like three p.m. It was called Sands the Bars. No, <laughs> you did so. That's the saddest <laughs> trip ever. <laughs> You did so much sad shit. It was really, really, really sad. But um, yeah, because I went to the strip club because like I was like, ooh, I could do it. Like I could like I was just trying to, you know. Just do grown things by yourself. I was eat, pray, loving it. <laughs> Actually, I was trying to find myself. Bro. But it was the most like also a strip club at 3 a.m. or 3 p.m. And then like like it, I walked in, it was just me and like two strippers. And then yeah. they were like trying to talk to me, but I didn't want to like do stripper shit. And so I was just like, where's like good places to eat around here? I'm new to the area. Yeah. <laughs> and like, yeah. And then also some guy sat next to me and like tried to show me that he was hard watching the strippers. And I was like, I'm leaving. Oh, what? He was trying to fuck you, bro. Do people bruh. do that at strip clubs? No, fuck no. <laughs> uh, ain't nobody never did that at no strip club. <laughs> he was trying to fuck you, bro. <laughs> He tried to show you he was hard. I was like, cool, bro. Me too, man. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm here, man. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I'm yeah. Like sick, bro. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, Yo, somebody hitting you with a fucking, hey, get a load of this. It's <laughs> nuts in a strip club. Hey, hey, look at this. Uh, you see that? <laughs> That's crazy. I've literally never been back to a strip club. It was very uncomfortable. I'm it. sure. I would never go back if that <laughs> happened to me the first time I went. It like, yo, so you, you just tell everybody you meet, like, you know, all the men in there trying to show each other that they are. Like, That's weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Huh. You know what is crazy is I've uh, really never processed that that guy was gay. He's definitely gay. <laughs> I was just like, what a weird fucking guy. Bro. Yeah, nah, he was gay. Damn. Damn, everybody, everybody in Canada was hitting up, I swear to God. I think I think a lot of people are. You kind of look Canadian. I think that's why. Take that back right now. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking take that, bro. Back. You do. You look like if you said you were from Canada, I would believe it. Really? You have a very Canadian demeanor. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I do actually. You do, as I do always apologize. You, you apologize all the time. I'm super insecure. Damn. Why are Canadian people so insecure? I don't know. What's wrong with our country? Because they didn't do know. any shit in any wars, but they're yeah. part of them all. I tell you one thing, they are they're they are racist. They secretly racist, bro. Oh, because you went? Yeah, they treat me different. Yeah. They treat all black people different. But the black people in Canada are pussies. So they just let them do it. They let all the white people just treat them like fucking bullshit. Wait, how do they um treat you com- 
How do Canadian racists? What's the difference between Canadian racists and American? Uh, racists? Canadian racists are, <laughs> uh, it's like small and pleasantries. Like just you walking through a door, they don't hold the door for you. They walk by, just brush up on you, bump you and shit. They're like, damn, the fuck is this? Why are you bumping in? Canadian thing? people? Yes. And they're supposed to be one of the most polite people. Yep. Don't so say, that's like, say excuse that's me. That's crazy aggressive. None of them. that. Yes. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Huh. And I was around white people and I saw that they were getting treated differently. But then I noticed looking at the, uh, like the black people, there, a lot of those black people is like um, Ethiopians and shit like that. You know what I'm talking about? They're yeah. like um, East Africans. And they're just... They just let it happen. They get bumped into it. They just keep walking and shit. I'm like, what the fuck? For real? Yeah, you let me not go say nothing. Isn't it all like Ethiopians and West Philly? No, those different types of, those like the black, those real Africans. Those like, sorry, Ethiopians are real Africans too. But I mean, they like the, they like black ass Africans huh. in West Philly. I thought, I thought there were like, there's like a lot of Ethiopian population there. I mean, it probably, it probably is. Mm. Yeah, probably there in Southwest, honestly. That's where all Africans go. Mm. West and Southwest. True. Mm -hmm. But there's like no like tough areas of Canada that like makes people tough. I'm sure Toronto got hoods. You see what I'm saying? I just I never been there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very yeah, strange. bro. That's the rattiest city. But yeah, no rats in fucking Alberta. <laughs> Do you hate the passive aggressive racism or the direct racism? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cause. Direct racism is like, all right. Honest. Yeah, now I know where we at, bro. Passive aggressive racism is um No, the worst type of racism is the 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 people that think they is like woke racism. Like the people that think they not racist. Oh, like the show booker for the <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Shit like that. Shit like fucking <laughs> I'm gonna play. I'm gonna book an all black comedy show. I'm gonna book an all black comedy show, but I'm gonna host it as a white lady. <laughs> like what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's like a different type. So there's like three types. Yeah, yeah. Or like that. That's the worst kind, though. Or the kind that are like you know, of course, the most obvious one. The people that say that you're articulate and shit like that. It's like shut up. Mm. Like it's people. Where I'll be like, yeah, I want the central. Now, if we're if you know me and we cool, and I say I went to Central, and you like, damn, bro, that's fucking crazy. I say wild, fucked up shit. I get it. You might think, oh, how the fuck would this crazy motherfucker go there? But now, if I don't know you, random white person, I'm like, and they're like, hey, what house we go to? I'll be like, Central. Like, mm, Central? Why you doing all that? Why you gotta fucking turn your head to the side of? Mm, mm. Why you gotta make that noise? Whenever a white person do that, that means he's impressed with the wrong thing about a black person. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> If you white and you catch yourself going, mm, don't do that, bro. You shouldn't be that impressed with whatever this, this thing is. We people, just like you, dog. You can't, well, I'm trying to tell you, white people, if you ever find yourself going. I can, that is actually a white reaction because somebody yesterday told me they had a good set. And I was like, oh, really? <laughs> yeah, yo. I think that's that's awesome. an insult. <laughs> if ever you doing that to somebody, it's an insult. Don't okay. do that shit. That's crazy. That's fucked up. <laughs> that means you're surprised about some shit that you shouldn't be surprised about. Yeah. You got to hold that in. Yeah. Y'all okay. can't help it, though. Y'all just naturally make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking crazy. <laughs> that is pure hatred coming up. That is. Like, oh, that's good for you. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> like, that's that's like real disbelief. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. I got a degree. I got an accountant degree. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yo, you gotta watch out for your fucking micro expressions. Mm. All right, guys, if you want to see the rest of this episode, please go to patreon.com backslash ao actually. We need some money now. We, we're, I'm about to get fired. I'm literally getting fired probably when I go back to work on Monday. They're gonna be like, Naeem, get the fuck out of here. I don't do my job. I'm not good at it. That's because I'm looking up facts for y'all every day. True. I'm at work doing research. Yeah, most most of all the work is just leading to this podcast, so. Mm -hmm. He's at work looking up fucking cool new places for us to do podcasts. As you can see, we always in a different place. I'm neglecting the education of children. He's not teaching the kids. Focus on the education of y'all. Mm -hmm. For just $3 a month. That's, that's, all, that's it. And the crazy thing is, we're going to be doing way more than just podcasting on this Patreon. We gonna be getting. We gonna be doing fucking Q and A's. 
we gonna be doing yo, we gonna be doing real life experiments and shit. You ever you ever seen two grown men make a fucking science fair volcano? Yeah. You ever seen two grown grown men throw a squirrel off a thirty <laughs> right. watch them survive? Right. You, you ever, ever seen see two that? you ever see two grown men turn they shit into fucking grease and then make chicken with it? All right, well, <laughs> We don't do all that. Yeah, we, we might not do that one. But thank you guys for watching the first half of this episode. And please go to patreon.com backslash AOXE for the rest. Thank you. Goodbye.